ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today, honey. So anyways, seems like a lot of fandoms have been slipping in my DMs. And they've been wanting me to talk about the whole Meg the Stallion drama, okay? I want to kind of wait because I want to see how it played out. So before y'all start and be like, oh, you're always going in on Meg. I have no issues with Meg. So much so that I even did her savage dance challenge on damn TikTok. And I think I did pretty damn good for an auntie, okay? I'm a savage. <laughs> Nasty, classy, bougie, ratchet. Uh. Another booty pop. <laughs> so I have no issues with her. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm, I always speak my truth. Don't give a damn who it's about. So anyways, if you guys don't know what's going down with Meg the Stallion, this is what's happening. What happened is that, um, I don't know who, honey, but you know, people, we have a lot of time on our hands, okay? Coronavirus got us stuck in the house. So people decide to go through Meg the Stallion YouTube videos and go through each and every comment. And they find a few comments that Meg the Stallion allegedly liked that were shading Cardi B. Okay? So Barty Gang definitely was not feeling this. And a lot of people have been feeling low-key that Meg the Stallion does not like Cardi B. Because when she hooked up with Nicki Minaj to do her Hot Girl Summer song, um, basically, she was kind of low-key throwing shots and, you know, saying stuff about how her and Nicki write their own music. <laughs> And so at that point, a lot of people's ears perked up like, okay, that's cool that you want to be friends with Nikki and hang with Nikki, but why throw little shots about writing? So, you know, a lot of Barty Gang members have been giving Meg the Stallion, you know, the side eye. So then these, uh, so then these likes surfaced and social media was going crazy. They were going crazy on Twitter and on Instagram. So let me go ahead and read to you guys what Meg the Stallion allegedly liked. Okay, check this out. So I'm guessing y'all females leaving Cardi B in 2019. And then it shows that it was liked by Meg Thee Stallion. The next one says, she won my respect. Paying homage to the GOAT means a lot. Pac would be so proud. She exceeded Cardi hands down. So now even the Barb's were co-signing this as well and confirming that Meg Thee Stallion did like this. So Nikki Shady Facts said, Laugh my fucking ass off. Meg really don't like that big bird at all. Look what she loved on her YouTube video. If this isn't proof enough that Meg doesn't like Cardi, I wonder what other proof y'all need. So the Barb's believe this and think that Meg doesn't like Cardi. And of course, Barty Gang thinks that as well. Then Meg comes out and she claims that this was a lie and that she really didn't like it. The Barty Gang wasn't trying to hear that shit. So the person who initially put this on social media says, this bitch is lying. There were two comments that she liked. This is what she does. She be sneak dissing. And then when she's caught, she says, and basically we're going on to say that she basically blames management. So once that went viral, Meg the Stallion took to social media and she went off. This is what Meg had to say about everything. So she's applying to rap news and rap news is basically saying at the Stallion liked to comment on her bitch audio on YouTube that implies that she exceeded I am Cardi B. What do you guys think about this? So Meg replied back and she says, I did not like no damn stupid comment like this. I don't even upload my own shit on my YouTube. My label does. I don't have a problem with anybody. I don't like drama. I do not bring other females down. Stop trying to start fake beef. Okay. Okay. That tea's hot, so I still got a spoon in there, bitch. <laughs> so that's what Meg Thee Stallion said. She says that, you know, she didn't like it. She doesn't control her YouTube page. That her label is the one going around liking shady comments of Cardi. That she's not guilty of this act. 
So I said, okay, well, that's interesting. Let's see what 1501 has to say because, of course, everybody ran to their Instagram page. You know, pitchforks in hand and shit like the Simpsons. They was going off on Carl. How dare you try to set up Meg? You're trying to make her look bad. You know what I'm saying? You just want her to look shady so that way people will hate her. You know, that's the conspiracy that, you know, the horses were, you know, bringing forth, right? So um, Carl was like, what the fuck is this? What? What? So Carl was not here for the foolishness, honey. So this is what Carl had to say. When I tell you he didn't hold no punches, bitch. Carl don't never hold back no punches. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So folks go run into Carl's page and they say, at 1501 certified ENT, tell us. Tell us now. And then Carl comes out and he says, we get blamed for everything. But no, 1501 had no parts in this. Then somebody else says, at 1501 certified amp. You just love to be messy, just like a woman. So you're saying neither you or 300 uploads or runs her YouTube? So then Carl replies back and he says, At whom love? Lady, leave me the fuck alone. I'm allowed to comment when someone asks me. Who you think you is? Big mama or something? <laughs> his country accent is funny because I can... I can read his accent through his writing. Who you think you is? Big mama some? <laughs> I love Southern accents, honey. They just do something to me. <laughs> so then he goes on to say this. At whom me love? I'm a comment every time, so get your ass off my page and watch the show like everyone else. Then he adds her again and he says, and to answer your question, no, I don't run her page. I have nothing to do with that. You just mad because they caught your favorite lion once again. <laughs> I told y'all, Carl don't hold no punches, honey. So basically, her label is stating that Meg is a liar and that she had to like those. Like, he didn't have anything to do with that. And I'm inclined to believe him. Because, again, Meg has been caught up in so many lies with this whole label situation. Remember, first, she claimed she was 20 when she signed the contract, as if 20 is not a legal binding age. Then it came out that she was 23. Like, to me, she's lied about a lot of stuff. So her credibility when it comes to little stuff like that is kind of shot with me. Because I caught her up in so many lies when she was going through all that mess with Carl and them. So at this point, I don't believe her. I believe that she did like that stuff. And that's fine. I I mean, you, you have the right to like whatever you want. Even if it's something shady, you have the right to like it. But my thing is just stand by it. She could have just been like, well, yeah, I did like it. That's how I feel. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But why sit there and be like, it wasn't me. Stop trying to start fake beef. It was Carl and them who liked that shit. <laughs> and she's already, you know, low-key shaded her before. So, I mean, I don't know. I just find the whole situation funny. Like I said, I have no dog in this fight. This is just how I feel. I feel like she did like it, and she just doesn't want to stand by it. And, you know, Carl basically put it out there and said that he didn't like shit. Period. Point blank. So, anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on this crazy story. Once again, concerning Meg Thee Stallion blaming her record label for something, only for the record label to claim. <laughs> I can't with this story. Only for the record label to clap back and say that she's lying and she did like it. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all thumbs up the video. And last but not least, make sure you hit that notification bell. So that week me down with the notification squad, honey. So let me know your thoughts on everything. Are you guys team Meg on this? Do you believe what she has to say? Are you guys team Carl? Do y'all believe what he has to say on this situation? You guys feel like, you know, Meg is not being honest and she's once again trying to deflect and blame Carl in 1501. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Thank you.